Senator Mitch McConnell has jumped hemp into high gear with the introduction of the 2018 Farm Bill. I particularly want to thank the chairman and the ranking member for including my Hemp Farming Act in this bill. There are a lot of supporters around this table. Thank you. I think it's time we took this step. I think everybody's now figured it out. This is not the other plant. The other plant, Mayor Juana, created a stigma against hemp, and hemp had been illegal to grow under the Controlled Substances Act until the 2014 Farm Bill, which allowed it to be grown for research and development purposes. 34 states have authorized hemp research, but only 19 grew hemp in 2017. 2016, we grew just under 10,000 acres of hemp. 2017, just under 26,000 acres of hemp. I mean, we could get to maybe even 75,000 acres in the United States this year, which is really important because that's when the investment dollars come in. While most cannabis talk these days surrounds legalization, adult use, or medical marijuana, a small group of kind souls are taking hemp to new heights. I was the first licensed hemp farmer in Oregon in 80 years. Uh, I've become, become kind of like a, uh, a poster child for hemp in Oregon, and it's just kind of grown from state to state. I represent 22 states that grows hemp in the, in, the, in the United States, and Puerto Rico and Hawaii as well. Colorado, Oregon, and Kentucky have been the early leaders in the hemp industry, but other states are jumping on board and hoping to capitalize on this growth industry. Southern states see hemp as a viable option to replace tobacco crops, which have seen demand plummet. We have a lot of tobacco farms out there that are failing, so we came in with the infrastructure is very similar to what we need in cannabis. So we were able to transition from crop to crop, and then we're starting to teach them the new way of techniques. And it's just a little bit different farming as we know from what hemp is to corn or tobacco would be. New York has a very promising future. New York is the only state that's put $10 million in state grant funds into uh, the production and processing of industrial hemp. With all this investment in hemp, farmers are seeing a much needed boost to their bottom lines. But the final barrier is creating a national program in interstate commerce. We will see it in hemp because hemp is being treated as an agricultural product under the new proposed federal bill, and that will be regulated under um, the United States Department of Agriculture. But the way that the bill's written, each state will submit their plan for how they're going to run their hemp programs. So there will be variability within states. Expect states to adopt programs similar to alcohol. While alcohol is legal in all states, most deal with it very differently. Some allow it to be sold in gas stations or supermarkets, while others in state-controlled stores. One thing the industry is still fighting is the stigma of marijuana. It's been worse because they don't understand. So the education is huge with it. Going in and educating the community and the law offices, as well as the legal side, to try to you know, make people aware of what we're trying to do and what we actually have in this industry and the opportunity that we have in the industry. Much of the attention and financial gain of hemp right now is in CBD, but that's not the only benefit of the world's most versatile plant. I want to grow the plant for all of its uses, 25,000 uses of hemp. And uh, every day I, I hear something else going on that's going to be used in hemp products. And so I, I, I'm, I'm excited. Just by planting a, he a hemp crop, helps eradicate a lot of the mistreatment of the land. So anything that's been over time has been built up and uh, you know, poor farming practices especially. There are still hurdles for hemp to see its potential nationally, but there is no question hemp is making big moves in 2018. We're asking farmers to grow a crop for which there's very little infrastructure. We're asking investors to invest in infrastructure for which there is very little acreage. And yet here we are doing it, putting one foot in front of the other. It's really exciting and I'm glad to see it. And most all the people that are getting involved are a lot younger than I. And that's what we need. We need the youth uh, educated more on hemp like it was back in the 40s when we had 4-H programs for kids on how to grow hemp. We cannot just create jobs and stimulate the economy. We can improve our communities. We can improve lives for our employees while improving the planet, while delivering healthier products. It's a win-win-win-win.